Ashton has released a statement on the acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse after the teenager was cleared of all charges in the Kenosha shootings. The US president said, while the verdict in Kenosha will leave many Americans feeling angry and concerned, myself included, we must acknowledge that the, uh, the jury has spoken. I ran on a promise to bring Americans together because I believe that what unites us is far greater than what divides us. Paul, what do you make of the president's comments here? Do you think he's overstepped the mark? I think he has. I think it's dangerous territory. You know, mm. people will have their own views on the, the, the trial and the outcome. Um, but look, he's the president of the United States and jury members have put themselves forward in what was a very politically sensitive case. Mm -hmm. It appears to me they did their jobs diligently and they came to the outcome that they did in good faith. And effectively, having done that, they've then seen their president say that he was angry at them, really, for having reached the, the conclusion that they did. Now, I think that has all sorts of implications for, for you know, if, if you've got a president effectively interfering in the justice system in that way, mm -hmm. I think it has all sorts of dangerous ramifications. If you were a campaigner or a journalist and you identified what you considered was a miscarriage of justice, you think the trial was handled badly, you think the jury got it wrong, then, of course, everyone should reserve the right to, to campaign and to make that case. However... I think you probably have to draw the line at the, at the head of state. Mm. Uh, so I do think he's overstepped the remark. And I think that, you know, other people in America will probably mm. think that too. But do he had think... prior to that, hadn't he? He'd, he'd, yeah. he'd actually called this guy mm. a white supremacist. Mm. He'd, he'd been on Twitter, as I understand. Mm. Yeah, and he called him a white, white supremacist. supremacist. Yeah. So I'm guessing that the president assumed that the people that had been killed were black. But they weren't. No. They were white. Mm. Yeah. So it's sort of, when did the whole stop digging? And yet, you know, I mean, I get what Paul said. But isn't this part of a Democrat's problem? That they are, he is having to appease the hard left that have come into the Democrats, you know, just as the Corbynistas uh, became very powerful in the British Labour Party. And over half of Democrat voters, half of Democrat voters this time last year, do not like the leftward move of the party. Mm. Do not like... Uh, you know, critical race theory, all the rest of it. And the president's ratings are bombing. Now, mm. this barely gets a mention in a British newspaper. When Trump was president, he was in the papers every single day. And Trump, at one point, his approval ratings did get down into the low 40%. I think 41% was the lowest mm -hmm. that Trump got to. And this was a big sign for the Times and everybody else that, you know, Trump was doing badly. Mm. Biden's approval rating is now down at 36% and falling quite sharply, quite consistently. But even more interesting is Vice President Kamala Harris. Her approval ratings are now down at 26%, the lowest for any vice president in modern times. So the Democrats really having big, big problems in the mm -hmm. States and almost no conversation in this country about it whatsoever. Astonishing.